Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm so happy to be back here again. I took a little bit of a break because I was working on so many other projects, but it's time to be back. And it's that time of the year again, it's October. And as it normally happens in October, all of us parents of children with special needs, family members of, of children with special needs, um, they have children that attend the New York City public school system uh, may hear a couple of different slogans uh, that are very common out there and they're being repeated all the time, maybe by your child's school or by an enrollment center. And I actually saw one posted in the New York City uh, Department of Education website under enrollment. So what are these two slogans and what do they mean? All right, so let's decode them together. The first one, and this is more likely to be, um, you may have heard it at your students, um, at your child's school. And it may have happened when you were just about to have an IEP meeting, or maybe there were some evaluations that were being conducted, right? And what the school is telling you is that your child needs a better environment to serve his needs. And then they feel that the school is no longer serving your child's needs. Well, first of all, as per the New York City Department of Education, every school should serve every student, regardless of their IEP status. In other words, regardless of whether they have an IEP or not, and regardless of what that kind of IEP says, except of course, in cases where your child needs a much more restricted environment and then she, he or she needs a District 75 school or a private school. Right, right, but in most cases, uh, according to the New York City Department of Education, and this is not a bad thing, this is really supposed to be the case, every school is supposed to serve every student. What happens is maybe your child is having issues with the school and the school does not have every program they should have. A lot of schools in the New York City Department of Education serve students in, a, in an ICT type of classroom, like a collaborative team teaching classroom, but they don't have self-contained classrooms and maybe your child would benefit from a self-contained classroom. So what they're telling you is your child needs a self-contained type of classroom, meaning like a smaller classroom with 12 children, and we don't have that. And we think that it's better if your child goes to a different school. As for the New York City Department of Education, this is not good practice. So if your child's school is telling you that, you can say, well, I want my child to be served in this school. This is a school that I picked. And if you feel that my child needs a self-contained classroom, then maybe you need to have this classroom yourselves in this school. This is school that I this is the school that I pick for my child, and this is the school where I want him or her to remain. The other thing that you may hear from especially enrollment centers, and I'm going to quote it because this is actually posted in the New York City Department of Education website under um special education services in district schools which is districts 1 through 32 it says we're committed to ensuring that all new york city students with disabilities have access to a quality education all doe public schools serve students with disabilities and are expected to provide a special education program programs and services on students individual individualized education programs so what happens is they're telling you the DOE or the powers that be in the Department of Education, they are telling you that they expect every school to provide for every child on, on whatever their individualized education program, their IEP says. They expect every school to provide depending on what um, they, they, they expect every school to provide on what the IEP says. Does every school actually provide on what the IEP says? Well, that remains to be a question, and this goes hand in hand 
with what I was telling you first. So there are a lot of schools out there in the um, Department of Education, New York City Department of Education that don't, that don't have every single service as it's supposed to be provided as per your child's IEP. So what the Department of Education tells you is that they expect every school to provide that. Do they do that? If you want to know a little secret, I will say no, they don't. And what they use is they bring in a team and they start coming through the IEPs and they start to um, do what's called flexible planning. And they start to look at like gaps in the IEPs of writing that will um, be able, that they will be able to bend and that they will be able to utilize and show you as a parent that the school is actually providing these services when you know in fact they're not. And how do they cover themselves? By telling you that they expect each school to provide these services when you, the parent, know that this is not true. They themselves know it's not true. I, as an ex-employee of a Department of Education, know and can tell you for a fact is not true. What would the school sometimes do to cover themselves? They would write IEPs that will tell you that your child needs um, services and that with with a group that's no more than 12 students. And then they will, they would, the flexible planning people will come in and will, will put children in classrooms of, um, they will tell you that there's a, there's a teacher that serves no more than 12 students in each class, classroom, even though maybe the class has over 20 students, 25 students, 28 students, 30 students in some cases. But they will tell you that there's a teacher in each classroom that's serving just 12 students, or no more than 12 students in that classroom. So, and, and they will write IEPs that will um, talk about each period, each, each uh, subject matter. For example, your child is, is supposed to receive instruction in math um, of in a classroom that serves no more than 12 students at a time. So they will find these gaps in the IEP and they will say, you see, your child doesn't have to be in a 12 to one to one classroom. He or she only has to be in a 12 to one to one classroom at some points in time during the day. And this is when they justify, justify flexible programming. But you as a parent have to know that these, these are just basically patches or gaps in, 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 in your child's IEP. You as a parent um, can make sure that your child gets the, the um, instruction that he or she needs by making sure that your child has this type of instruction all day, every day. And you insist that flexible programming is not an option, that you want your child to be programmed all day, every day in a classroom that um, is in accordance with the IEP and the provisions of the IEP for your child. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down here. Remember that I'm here to answer um, your questions and to help you and to guide you through the IEP process and um, whatever you need, especially when you're not sure how to go about getting what's best for your child. Have a wonderful October, everybody. Bye.